Welcome to this quick tech video on getting started with Vitis Acceleration Development Floor on Avio Card. In this short video, we will walk you through the basic steps on how to get your card installed and running GitHub examples. The demo part will include both Vitis IDE and Command Line Floor. Let's start from the Avio landing page at this link. You will find entries to all the useful information for Avio Accelerator cards including product selection guide, available applications, how to get started with tools, along with the documented instructions. We will be focusing on Vitis design flow and on-premise deployment as this video. This getting started with Avio Cards install guide provides a detailed hardware and software installation procedures. Please follow the instructions described as this user guide to install your card. Note that Xilinx also provides detailed information about system requirements, supported operating systems, and qualified servers for Avio cards. Please read through and make sure you meet the minimal system requirements before installing your card. At the Avio landing page, after choose the card you are about to use, you will find the high-level steps to set up your card to run applications under the Getting Started tab. Software installation packages are also listed there. You will need to select the one that suits your operating system, then download and install those packages. Packages under Step 1 and Step 2 need to be installed if only for deployment. All packages at those four steps need to be installed for development floor using Vitis. If the card has been successfully installed, you will receive a similar message as shown here. Please strictly follow the procedures listed at user guide to install required package. Note that even if the card cannot be recognized by LSPCI, user can still revert the card to the image shipped from factory. Before we head into the demo part, take a few seconds and make sure you understand the differences between deployment and development floor. Only for those of you that are interested in developing your own accelerated applications, will need to install the development software packages. And those packages, including Vitis, don't need to be installed on the same server as the Avio card. To bring up the card and validate it has been properly installed, XRT offers some utilities to use. We will not go deeper in this quick tech video, but if you're interested, please check out the other short video focusing on XRT tools. Okay, now let's take a look at how to use Vitis to develop an application and deploy at the Avio U200 card. Here I've got a U200 card installed to my Linux machine and the environment variables for Vitis and XRT have been set up for this terminal. We could use LSPCI to verify if the card is ready. As you can see that there are two PFs, one is management PF and another is user PF. Both have associate drivers installed, which came from XRT installation. XRT offers a standalone command line utility called XBUtil. The query commander returns detailed status information for the specified card. Here you can see the system configuration, XRT and platform information, along with card power and summary information, also the memory topology and accelerator currently loaded on the card. Now we try to validate the card. The validate commander generates a high-level, easy-to-read summary of the installed card. It checks PCIe link status, runs a verifier kernel on card, and performs the data bandwidth tests for DMA and DDR, returns the data transfer bandwidth between host and FPGA DDR through PCIe, and the bandwidth between kernels and FPGA DDR. Now we will verify the card is ready and I will show you how to start developing an application at Vitis IDE. At the pop-up window, choose the workspace directory and launch Vitis. A welcome window shows up. You can either create an application project at this window or select from toolbar. Name your project. Choose the target platform. Here we use U200 XDMA. Then select built-in vector addition from templates. Click Finish. Your project has been created. 
At the explore window, you may find project sources, and the output reports will be listed here at the system window. Let's start build for software emulation. It would take several seconds to few minutes, depends on your system performance. After it's done, you can run emulation by click run button. As you can see from the message shows at console window, a pass test. Now you can go check reports at the system window. The procedure to perform hardware emulation is almost the same, only will take a little bit more time to build and run. Now I want to show you how to install more examples to your Vitis IDE by clone from GitHub. Choose examples from here. You can see the remote repository pointed to the Linux GitHub. Click download and wait for a few minutes. Then you can find the examples at Xilinx GitHub repository has been cloned to local, and you may use that on your application as we just did with the built-in template we add. For example, we can create a project now using Hello World example from GitHub repository that we just cloned. Here I'm showing you the Vitis acceleration examples on Xilinx GitHub. We've learned how to adopt that with Vitis IDE, but if you want to try those examples in command line flow, how to do that? Well, first, you need to clone the entire repository to your local drive, and always from the same branch that matches your Vitis tool word. Make files are provided for every example. Please go through README first. Every time you want to try that example on Vitis, always your RV card. We will use this Hello World example to show you how to run Vitis floor in command line mode and how to check out profile summary after hardware run. Makehelp can give you some guidance on how to use the make file. For example, here, we can see how to build and run for emulation and hardware for different platforms. Let's try to build Excel Bean for software emulation first by targeting my RVU U200 XDMA platform. Now we try to run software emulation with a slight change of the previous make command. Hardware emulation is similar. Just use HW email instead of SW email for target. And if we set HW as target, Vitis will generate binary file that can be loaded at Avio card. To save some time, we won't wait up until it's done, but use the files I've already built. I actually built those files from another machine which doesn't have any Avio card installed. But by using Vitis, XRT, and development platform installed on that machine, I could still run emulations and build Excel beans for later hardware deployment. Besides the executable files, I also put in this INI file, which I used to turn on profiler for hardware run. Let's try to execute this hardware world application on my Avio U200 card. As you can see, it passed test with two extra files created. Let's open it with Vitis Analyzer. This is one of the amazing new features of Vitis, that even if you are using command line flow, to develop your design. You can still view those results and reports at Graphic Analyzer by directly opening the output files in the same way as you are using Vitis IDE floor. As you can see here, after opened run summary at Vitis Analyzer, you can check the system and platform diagram, run guidance, and also detailed profile summary. For more details on Vitis Analyzer, please refer Vitis online documentation and check out other quick take video. This getting started video mostly focuses on Vitis design floor targeting Avio card, both in IDE and command line mode. Complete instructions can be found at the documentation listed at Vitis landing page. If you are looking for detailed hardware and software installation guidance for Xilinx Avio card, please check out other short video or Avio install guide and user guide. Thank you for watching this quick take video.